Turmeric, turmeric is a very uh, important component in our diet. And turmeric, uh, I don't know if you use turmeric in your in your in your country. Uh, if you don't, uh, I want to talk about turmeric, and I'm going to talk about the dangers of turmeric. They are very common. Some there are those things which come and uh, they are so much advocated for in our lives. But uh, turmeric, I'm going to talk about the dangers of turmeric. Uh, vis-a-vis their benefit to us. So turmeric is a commonly used uh, spice and medicinal herb. Uh, it's generally safe for most uh, people when consumed in moderate amounts as food or dietary supplements. However, it has been seen that there are some potential risks and side effects associated with the turmeric, particularly when taken in large doses or, certain uh, on certain, or by certain individuals. So that's what I'm going to mention, because these things come in our lives and we are told this is very healthy, you need to take it in all your diet. But most of the time you get that uh, some of us take these things in excess and uh, or some people react differently to uh, things differently. Like, uh, it's like uh, a medicine which we take, in, which your doctor can prescribe to you. but. Uh, Sometimes the outcomes are not what is expected uh, to, to happen. So when we talk about turmeric, uh, there, it has been seen to bring some problems to some people. Uh, and that's what I'm going to mention about the dangers of turmeric. Number one is about stomach issues. Some people may experience gastro, gastrointestinal uh, discomfort, such as the nausea diarrhea, indigestion when consumed in large amount of turmeric. So there's this uh, trend which came that turmeric is very healthy and you should always take it in your diet, but when taken in excess, it can have, we've seen people complain of stomach issues uh, like discomfort, nausea, uh, how that feel to vomit, indigestion, diarrhea, and because of consuming turmeric in large amounts. Increased bleeding risk is also one of them. Uh, turmeric can act as a blood thinner and they, 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 it can increase the risk of uh, bleeding, especially in individuals already taking blood thinning medications like warfarin or aspirin. So it is recommended that if you are on aspirin and warfarin or any blood thinner drugs, uh, you should uh, avoid this uh, turmeric in excess. Gallbladder issues. Turmeric may worsen gallbladder problems or cause gallbladder contractions particularly in individuals with the gallstones or other gallbladder issues. Number four is about interaction with medications. Turmeric may interact with certain medications, including blood thinners, diabetes uh, medications, and drugs that can reduce uh, stomach acid production. So it is important to consult with the healthcare provider to, before taking the turmeric supplements if you are on medication. So that's why it's very important. Allergic reactions, some people may react to turmeric experiencing symptoms like rash, itching, or difficulty in breathing. Allergic reactions to turmeric are rare, but they, sometimes they can occur. Number six is about kidney stones. Turmeric contains oxalates, with, uh, which can contribute to the formation of kidney stones in susceptible individuals. Those with history of kidney stones should uh, consume turmeric in moderation. Pregnancy and breastfeeding. Uh, turmeric supplements are not recommended for pregnant or breastfeeding matters as, as uh, their safety during the periods has not been established at that particular point. Iron absorption. Turmeric may inhibit the absorption of iron in the body which could be a concern of individuals uh, with iron deficiency anemia. So guys, while turmeric can be offered numerous benefits, it is very essential to consume uh, eat in moderation and be aware of risks, especially if you have existing health conditions or are taking medications as the dietary supplements. It's advisable to consult with the healthcare provider before adding uh, turmeric to your regimen, particularly if you have concerns of your safety or interaction with other medications. So, how do you manage the complications of this turmeric? Managing the potential risks associated with uh, turmeric involves uh, taking precautions 
and being mindful of its consumption. So I'm not saying that you don't take uh, turmeric, particularly for individuals who have maybe a higher risk of adverse effects, you need to be very careful and this is how you're going to play some strategies of managing the dangers of turmeric. Number one is about when you take the turmeric, you start with the small amounts. If you are new to consuming turmeric, start with the sm small amounts to assess the tolerance and also minimize the risk of gastrointestinal uh, discomfort. Number two is about uh, consult with your healthcare provider. Before taking turmeric supplements, especially if you have underlying health conditions uh, or uh, taking medication, consult with your healthcare provider to assess potential risks and interactions. Also very important, number three is about monitor for side effects. Pay attention to your body response to turmeric consumption and discontinue if you experience any adverse effects like stomach issues or allergic reactions. Number four, consider alternative forms. Instead of taking turmeric uh, uh, supplements, consider incorporating turmeric into your diet as a spice or using fresh turmeric roots in cooking so that this can provide the benefit of turmeric while minimizing the risk associated with the concentrated uh, supplements. Number five, be cautious with high doses. Avoid consuming excessive high doses of turmeric as this may increase the side effects of interaction with the medication. Number, of, number six is about monitor blood clotting. If, taking blood, if you are taking blood thinning uh, uh, drugs like warfarin, uh, monitor your blood clotting levels closely and discuss turmeric uh, consumption with the healthcare provider to ensure that uh, you, are safe, uh, uh, you, are, you are safe in your consumption. Number seven is about staying hydrated. Drink plenty of water can reduce the risk of kidney stone formation associated with the, what we said oxalates in the turmeric. Number eight, choose uh, reputable brands. When, uh, when purchasing turmeric uh, supplements, choose products from reputable brands which are there to quality and provide clear dosage information. Number nine, discontinue use of if pregnant and breastfeeding because uh, this has not been really assessed well and uh, pregnant or breastfeeding women should avoid turmeric supplements unless you are directed by your healthcare provider. Number 10, rotate supplements. Consider rotating turmeric supplement with the other natural anti-inflammatory antioxidants, which can reduce the risk of, ex of exposure to any particular compounds of these uh, turmeric uh, uh, reactions. By following these management strategies and being uh, cautious with the turmeric consumption, individuals can minimize the potential complications, uh, risks and the safety of the ben uh, which uh, the, ben the benefits which come with the turmeric. As always, it is always essential to prioritize safety and to consult with the healthcare provider if you have any concerns or questions about the turmeric uh, usage. And unfortunately, we have some complications which come about with the consumption of uh, uh, turmeric. While turmeric is generally considered to be very safe for most of the people uh, when consumed in moderation, there can be complications associated with the cheese use, particularly in certain individuals or when consumed in excess amounts. Here are some potential complications of uh, turmeric consumption. Number one is about gastrointestinal uh, issues. Large dosage of turmeric or long-term use may cause gastrointestinal uh, discomfort, including the nausea, diarrhea, indigestion, also in some individuals. Number two is about increased risk of uh, bleeding. It's because it, uh, it thins blood, especially for the patients who are taking blood thinning medications or with the people with the bleeding disorders. Number three is about gallbladder issues. Turmeric can stimulate gallbladder contraction, which may exacerbate gallbladder problems or lead to complications in individuals with gallbladder issues. Number four is about interaction with medications. Uh, turmeric can interact with medica medications including blood thinners, diabetes medication and drugs that reduce uh, stomach acid production, potentially altering the effectiveness uh, or increasing the risk of uh, the side effects. Allergic reaction is also another thing which can come up as a complication, though it's very rare, but it can, it can manifest like rash, itching, swelling or difficulty in breathing. Number six about kidney stones because how high level of oxalates in this 
So turmeric contains oxalates which can contribute to the formation of the kidney stones in susceptible individuals, particularly those with history of uh, kidney stones or predisposing factors for uh, stone formation. Number seven is about iron absorption interference. Turmeric uh, may inhibit the iron body uh, absorption of, uh, uh, of iron, which could be a concern of individuals with iron deficiency anemia. Pregnancy and breastfeeding risks, turmeric supplements, not recommended for women who are breastfeeding uh, and those who are pregnant, as their safety during this period uh, has not been, research has not established its safety during the use, to use during pregnancy or during uh, breastfeeding. Digestive issues like uh, gastro, gastro varagil, reflux disease or GAD or in, inflammatory bowel uh, disease uh, can also uh, can, can also come up with the, the use of this turmeric. Also, what we call skin sensitivity may come up. Some individuals with uh, skin sensitivity or photo sensitivity when using uh, topical turmeric preparation can lead to uh, irritation and uh, sunburn. Hypoglycemia risk is also a complication where turmeric uh, may lower blood sugars, which can be prom 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 problematic for individuals with diabetes and or hypoglycemia if not monitored closely. So to, to minimize the risk of complications with the turmeric, it's important to use turmeric responsibly, adhere to recommended dosages and consult with the healthcare provider before starting turmeric supplements. Especially if you have pre-existing uh, health conditions or taking medication, it's very important that uh, additionally discontinue use and seek medical attention. If you experience any adverse reactions or unusual symptoms after consuming the, uh, tr the this uh, turmeric. So on the prevention part of it, start with small amounts like we mentioned, monitor for side effects, consult with the healthcare provider, be cautious of the high doses, uh, monitor blood clotting if you, you can develop uh, the, those problems, rotate the supplements, uh, by rotating, we mean that uh, you go for natural anti-inflammatory and antioxidants to reduce the exposure of any of the compounds. So, and very important, discontinue use if pregnant or breastfeeding. And also, a very important aspect of uh, which we say about listening to your body. In summary, while turmeric offers various benefits, it is essential to be aware of potential and compli and the complication associated with the consumption, particularly in certain individuals or when taken in excess for amount. So, on the potential complications, turmeric consumption may, may lead to uh, kid, uh, uh, stomach problems, gastrointestinal issues, increased blood risk, gallbladder problems, medication interactions, allergic reaction, kidney stones formation, iron absorption interference, and other adverse effects. So start with small amounts, monitor for side effects, consult with the healthcare provider, choose high quality supplements, consider using turmeric as a spice in, in cooking, stay hydrated and rotate uh, these uh, supplements to reduce overexposure. Very important, listen to your body. Holistic approach is also a very important aspect in which you can incorporate uh, turmeric into a balanced diet and lifestyle focusing overly on health and wellness. By following the guidelines of, um, of and being mindful of potential risks, individuals can safely enjoy the benefits of turmeric while minimizing the likelihood of complication. As always, consulting with your healthcare provider is advisable, uh, especially if you have a specific health concerns or conditions. In conclusion, turmeric is a spice with numerous benefits, but it is, it is essential to use it responsibly to avoid uh, complications. While turmeric is uh, generally safe or for most of the people when consumed in moderation, uh, uh, in excess intake or, or uh, uh, an ad uh, uh, taking it inadequately may increase the risk of adverse effects. By starting with small amounts, monitoring side effects, consulting with the healthcare provider you, uh, can be safely incorporated into, the, uh, into your health and also how you are supposed to supplement as a regimen. By prioritizing uh, safety, making informed choices, individual can harness therapeutic properties of turmeric while minimizing the risk of complications and also 
uh, and timely support, uh, ultimately support the healthy, the healthy well-being of our body. Guys, welcome. The channel is Nazvin. And kindly, if you have not subscribed, I want to encourage you to subscribe. This is the channel where we get to talk about matters health in a simple language which we can always understand. And kindly like the video and that is how you can get YouTube to recommend our videos so that we may reach a larger population. Guys, uh, uh, for any support, we have, uh, uh, we have the, our details in the description. Uh, for any uh, in cooperation, if you want us to promote your, pro your, your product, you can always find us in the details uh, in our channel. Guys, welcome to our next, uh, next video and we love you very much. Peace, guys.